that's time to get laying out some of the sheet metal. I've sped this up. I tried watching it in real time and it was even a bit tedious for me. This is pretty simple. The piece we need is just a 90 degree bend. No curves to it. So I don't get to use my shaker stretcher. This is my homemade panel brake. Some angle iron leftover scrap that like was part of a trailer. Does a pretty good job. I've gone over to the car, got a rough estimate on where it needs to be, broke the lead on the pencil, so I had to go sharpen it. Now we're back. Rough cut off to the car. I'm trying to get this to fit really nice. It's so difficult. Well, not real difficult. It's a slightly difficult area to get in well to. I'd like to leave a little bit of a gaps. They tend to weld better that way. Probably taking a lot longer time than I need if I just stuck it in there and overlapped it. I just stitched it up really quick. Find a little fitting going on here. This is in real time. Kind of makes you glad I sped up the other part. Pretty much got it fit. It's just the last little witness marks I put on it. Grind in the last little bit. I tried sticking it with magnets and that didn't work. More touch up. Try them on the top, try them on the bottom. They fell off. Tried the dainty C clip, or vice grips rather. They fell off. And I'm grinding away the epoxy primer. Back to the big old C clamps. And got it ready for where we're going to do some welding. Spending a little time getting the corners to line up. As a highly trained professional, I know when to close my eyes. It's 
so it's a new welded helmet for me. I like it pretty good, but I found while I was welding that since I need to get closer now to see things, that the uh, in this particular instance the cowl was blocking the uh, solar panel sensors, and it didn't always stay dark. But I'll get it tacked in here in a minute. We're here to do some welding. Let's just do it. While I was welding, it was a little too hot. I fed up with it for a while and finally went ahead and reset it. All welded uh, using various grinding tools try to get up in that little confined area get it all nice and pretty Final dressing up. And here I'm using my five inch grinder, but I load the disc on backwards. The, uh, the grinding part is actually pointed toward my hands. It's a nice trick. I've used it many times to reach into an area that's hard to access and the backing plate being flexible does a pretty good job of flattening things out. Cut it all ground down, take the light, put it behind it, Look very closely, see if there's any pinholes, since water will get down into that panel and get into the floor. And there, shot a little self-etching primer on it. It should do the job. I can reach inside to do some sealer on it. On to the next step. Well, I didn't show all of the steps. Would have been kind of boring watching all of it. But got uh, the panels 80% fit. Another full day and should have this all welded in place.